Hello everyone, my name is Arvind Krishnan and I work as a co-engineer as a simulation specialist. In this video, we are going to look at performing a nonlinear structural analysis based on a transient thermal load. We can perform a transient thermal analysis and look at the temperature distribution across a part as a function of time. Now the temperature may be maximum at different regions at different times and hence when looking at the same thermal problem and finding structural results from it due to the non-uniform distribution of temperature the maximum stress at a given location might be at a time that would not have been initially conceived and hence it's important to look at the behavior of stress and displacement as a function of time as well and that's where a non-linear analysis comes in so in this particular setup we have a regulator where we have a temperature heat power on this part and uh, some convection effects that has been defined in this transient analysis. We have some probes as well. So here's our heat power. We have some convection effects. The initial temperature has been specified as 25 Celsius. If you look at the properties of this transient thermal analysis that's already been defined and run, this study has been run for 300 seconds and the results are calculated every 10 seconds. Okay, keeping this in mind, we can look at some of the results and we can also do a probe. So I'm just going to select that point and here is a variation of the temperature as a function of time. As we can see, that initial temperature of 25 goes up to at, at about 10 seconds it's already up to about 60 and then it keeps increasing to about 180 before it before it dies down we can now go and create a nonlinear analysis so I'm going to create a new study make sure you select nonlinear all right so now that we've created the new study in terms of the setup the in the properties of the study we have a flow and thermal effects tab and this is where you would import the results of the transient analysis. We can specify which thermal study that we want to select. We're going to select transient 1 which is the study that we ran and you can automatically see that it's asking us which time step do we want to take the results from. Well we don't want one particular time step in this case. We want to capture all the different time steps that has been done. Having said that, the reference temperature at zero strain is set to 298 Kelvin, which is also equal to about 25 Celsius. That's the reference temperature when there's no stress generated. And then, uh, as we know, the stresses would develop as a function of the difference in temperature to that 25 Celsius. In a nonlinear analysis, the time step is very important. And in this case, uh, to mimic the time steps of the transient analysis, we're going to select a maximum time of 300 seconds and have a fixed increment of 10 seconds to mimic what was set up in the transient analysis. You can have a more detailed, smaller time step in your nonlinear analysis. Just keep in mind that you know there might be some irregular bumps as the results every 10 seconds come in from the transient analysis. As noted, we do need a fixture in a nonlinear ana analysis, and I'm just going to go ahead and fix a point. So that point is going to see zero displacement, and everything else is going to expand. I've already ran a study similar to this one. So quickly looking at the results that we have, here are the stress results at 300 seconds. We also have some displacement results, and we can look at this as a function of time where we can probe at the same location. As we can see, the response of our system is uh, relatively similar to how the temperature increased for the same point. So here the, the deformation is initially small and then increases as the temperature goes up. You also have the option of looking at the max displacement at all the points at any given time. And to do that, we can go to the definition of the plot itself and plot our results across all steps as compared to just that a specific step and we can do the maximum or the minimum. So in this case this was the maximum deformation at any given time which would be the same as the final time step just because that was when the temperature was at its maximum. Once again this is Arvind Krishnan at 
Go Engineer. Thank you.